Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my another video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the little app that is built on the Angular in the front end and or in the back end. I'm gonna use the uh, Spring Boot for the APIs. And this is going to be a series. I'm gonna show you the everything what need to be uh, done in Spring Boot to create a simple API such as like CRUD operations. And you can use that CRUD operations of the API in a front end in the Angular. Okay. So this is the app what is look like. I already built this app, but I'm gonna show you exactly how it's going to be built. You're using from the all the way from the scratch from the backend part, and I'm gonna add and after the backend is done, I'm gonna go in the front end and I'm gonna build that in Angular. And I'm gonna do exactly everything from the scratch. Okay. Of course you guys need to know a little bit about the Angular and a little bit about the Java, how it really works in backend if, uh, because I'm using Spring Boot and Spring Boot is using a uh, Java there. So you guys need to know about that, but I'm gonna try to explain you guys what you guys do need to know to how this app is talking to each other and how we can communicate, how you can use the API from the uh, Angular to the Spring Boot, right? I'm gonna go all the, everything from the beginning, okay? So this is the app what it look like. And I created this Angular app in a mobile view, but uh, it doesn't need to be mobile view. You can create in desktop view as well but i created in a for a mobile view parts okay so this is how it looks like at the end for a little bit background i have the angular here uh, because i'm using the material design for the angular it doesn't need to use a material design because i used because they provide a lot of good components there which I, I really want to explore it how it's going to use so that's why i use that material component here and here's a chart and this chart is basically it's a uh, it's not a material chart at all. I, I'm I research about that. I don't think the material will provide you any any chart, all right? Materials uh, Angular will provide you any chart for that material design. So I'm using this chart for or uh, chart JS, okay? So chart JS will give you a really good chart, and I'm using for Angular. So I'm, I use one packages called ng2chart and I use this chart to create a donut chart here. This is what it call a donut chart and I use a donut chart here and this which I created the, this as a custom. This, it, this guy doesn't even come with donut chart. This is I just created a custom on the side. And uh, of course, of course this data also, this data is not exactly right data here. But the, anyway, this is the middle data that will show up. So in this app, what it really does is we could able to add a tox. So basically there is only one table. So now I will go back to my table parts. So I'm using the uh, MySQL table and on my Spring Boot applications, which is right here, it's connecting with a uh, SQL. Okay. It's connecting with the SQL. I'm gonna go everything now because I just wanna show you how this really works. First point is, and this is uh, the SQL table and the SQL tables is a task. So there is only one task table, which has an ID, description, due date, title, and the type. So we could able to add a new task here. So I could add or design the solution and what is a type is going to be. Maybe it's a to do, right? But I know we're going to now if I click it here, it will really give us the calendar uh, drop down. So I can pick uh, here the January 1st, 2021. Now I could uh, copy or I, I could write any description here. Okay. And once I submit, it's going to submit here in the first, right? Design the solution test. Okay. There is only two data at this time. And if I refresh, then it's going to save it right here. And if I click it here, it's going to open me exact the model here, dialog. And of course, this dialog will show me the title, type, due type, and the description. And I can't edit at this time. I can't do anything. I can click, but I can't do anything. So I need to click it here. It, it will now uh, allow me to modify it if I want to. If I modify it here, maybe to do to pending, right? And maybe change the date to something else or change this to test. And I can update this, right? So once it's updated, this, the pending, and uh, my this data will change as well. Now I have a pending as 25, uh, 33% and to do and done is still 33, 33% here. Okay. But if I change the pending, if I click on edit here and change it to done, 
then my done will be 66 percent and to do will be 33 percent right and there will be only if i hover it here it shows the 33 percent and 66 percent okay that's how it shows, shows at this time and that's what is going going to be we could able to edit here or we can also able to delete if we like now it's removed so that's why now i have only a to do and done basically to do and done is a type that is just uh, it's been removed here then so now it's 50 percent we have a to do and 50 percent uh, done that's why we are just showing the chart as we have 50 and 50 percent so basically whenever we change the data on our tax table it's going to reflect here as well in our chart so we could able to add it we could able to remove it we could able to edit it or we could able to view in a in, in, in a view here in a, our home page of course there is a other more navigation part here which i haven't built it but uh, uh, we could definitely add more features on this applications okay for for now i'm just going going to be really simple i'm just going to show you how we can create in this apis here in the back end with a, a spring boot first and once this is done then i will go back here in angular and i'm going to show you everything what you need to do to build this app to add right to, to add and to, to use this uh, the materials uh, the, the calendar drop down or material select or, or all this stuff good stuff okay so this is going to be a series guys I hope you guys enjoying this videos and uh, this is going to be my first video I just show you the really highlight of how this series is going to be in the second video I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start uh, diving in my uh, APIs here I'm gonna teach you guys how we can create a really simple api uh, using spring boot and using the jpa uh, on the our repository here in spring boot okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys like it and you guys want to learn something new and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now